Welcome. In this problem, we're told to choose the fastest walker, and we're given four choices. We have Montel, who walks three miles in one hour, so we can set that ratio up right away for Montel. Right? Montel is a three-to-one ratio. That's miles and hours, and let's set up all of our ratios that way, with the first number will be miles, and the second number will be hours. Right? We had to establish that. And we could reverse it. But, um, it wouldn't make any difference here. Just it would just make the appear, the ratios appear different. But really, they would all be saying the same thing. And then we have Jerry, who walks six miles, right, in two hours. We have Phil, who walks six miles in one point five hours, and we have Rosie who walks nine miles in two hours. So we. this is interesting because initially I was thinking to set up a ratio table, but what stands out for me right away is that um, Phil is walking faster than Jerry, right? So already we can cross out Jerry, and the way I know Phil is walking faster is because if you look at what, what Phil, right, what it says here, six to 1.5, that means it only takes Phil one and a half hours to walk six miles. Meanwhile, it takes Jerry two hours to walk the same distance. In other words, it takes him, right? It takes him longer to walk the same distance, so he's going slower. And if we if we don't see that, right, we could scale it up a little bit and try to see what's happening. So if we double what Phil's doing to three hours, how far would he walk? Well, we double six as well and get 12, right? And if we... Um, double it again, we would get 6 and 24. So in 6 hours, Phil would walk 24 miles. Whereas with, with Jerry, right, if we triple this to get a 6 to something ratio, right, triple the, the number here to match this 6, well then 6 times 3 is 18. It's more dramatic here. You can see that Jerry would only walk 18 miles, right, 18 miles in 6 hours whereas Phil would walk a full 24 miles, so Jerry's out. Three more to go. Um, what about Rosie? Well, if we triple what Rosie's walking here, instead of two, we go to six, right? I could just keep repeating this ratio and over, over and over again. How far will Rosie go? Well, every two hours, she goes nine miles, so for six hours, she would go nine times three, or 27 miles. So Rosie's walking more than Phil. And then last we have Montel here. Uh, Montel compared to Rosie. That's a nice easy comparison because if I double right Montel's ratio, so it's 2 to 6, we can see that Rosie's walking faster than him as well. And all I did there was double this ratio. And I know because Rosie in 2 hours can walk 9 miles, whereas Montel can only walk 6 miles. You can almost imagine this in a line if, if Rosie's going along in two hours, she'll go, let's say, nine miles. But if Montel's going along for the same time, right, he's only walking about six miles. So it's not nearly as far. So here, the fastest rock walker is Rosie, choice D. Hope that helped.